Welcome back to this already, the final segment of today's Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business to one, the only Charles Alvarez. We got him lined up. He's with CornerstoneBusinessAcademy.com. I am uh, not only very familiar with uh, Cornerstone from uh, a media perspective, but I've been a client of Cornerstone for a long time which is why I'd like to get him on the program. We are just in awe of how much our business has exploded while working with Charles and uh, love to hear the success stories and to be one of them. And uh, he does great coaching. He does great consulting and a uh, great job of bringing guests on as well and doing interviews. Charles, glad to have Thanks you on. Thanks for having me, Kevin. Thanks for having me, Kevin. I'm always humbled to hear what, uh, what you think of me. So uh, I, the, the feeling is mutual, that's for sure. Well, I appreciate it. Tell us a little bit more about uh, what you do and then introduce your guest today. Sure. We work with uh, small and medium-sized businesses uh, uh, around the country who are having a hard time getting to the next level in their business, and we work with them, and we typically give them uh, an additional 3 to $6 million in sales in 21 months or less without having to hire one employee and one person that is actually great at doing that because, as we all know, outsourcing is becoming more and more important is Dave with uh, the Eliason Group. So, Dave, welcome to the show. Yeah, Hi, very good. good. Morning. Yeah, welcome to the program. Tell us real quickly about yourself. Give us your, uh, give us your elevator speech, if you will. Sure. Uh, at Eliason Group, we're a privately held IT consulting and staffing firm. We've been in business 25 years. We've got practices in life science, agile, and biometric and data solutions. And internally, we have about 200 staff and about 1,000 consultants on billing in about 35 states. Yeah, very good. Your question, Charles. So, Dave, tell us kind of what uh, what are the unique challenges that you that you find that your customers are facing or your clients are facing, and how is the Liaison Group best positioned to take care and address those challenges? Yeah. So, Charles, today, if you look at unemployment, it's about six percent nationally, and there are several pockets of IT that are about one percent or basically full employment. And I think on the supply and demand standpoint, our industry moves in cycles. Right now, we're lacking the supply in the STEM field, science, technology, engineering, and math. And most large companies have strong balance sheets. They want to utilize their cash to enhance their efficiencies with technology. And they really need the resources to execute on those projects, whether it be permanent salaried employees or through consultants like us. And in most cases, it's really both. So that's where we can play an important role for them. Mm -hmm. Are there certain industries that gravitate towards your company? Yeah, there's quite a few. Uh, so you've got financial services, technology, government integrators, uh, higher ed. Uh, so it really, and even retail. So there, are, it, it's across the board. And then, of course, biopharma, the uh, biotech, medical device spaces. So uh, it's pretty uh, wide ranging. Yeah, and by the way, have we had you on the show before? Uh, you have not. Oh, this wow. You guys sound familiar. You. But anyway, we're glad to have you. Charles? So, Dave, kind of tell us about an example to where, you know, somebody may have come to you and say, you know, we're, you know we've been trying like anything to try to find this one particular uh, IT position or this IT need, and we've been looking round and round and round, and we just can't find the right person. Kind of, kind of give us an idea of, uh, of a case study that you've gone over the last couple of months or so to really where you really add value to your customer. Just one of many examples, I'm sure. Yeah, Charles, uh, thank you. If I look at, there's a large financial services firm, and what they wanted to do was really assess their current project management, development practices, and identify areas to really improve their predictability, their time to market, flexibility of current and future projects. And they asked us to, uh, for guidance about implementing agile practices within the constraints of the government structure of a multinational financial services organization. So what we did, we came in, we gave them an executive summary providing best practice recommendations to the improvements. Uh, we also provided a team doing a, a workshop in introducing the benefits of implementing agile practices along with the challenges they face to remain within industry regulations and guidelines. A group of our agile subject matter experts came in, delivered coaching services, supported the use of agile practices on a pilot project, and then basically that ultimately led to Elias Group assisting the organization with the rollout of these practices across multiple projects. So Agile is much like in years past you had Lean and Toyota and the way in which they did it. Agile is just a more efficient way to run projects. 
Yeah, very good, very good. How, how large is your company, by the way? Uh, so uh, right now we're privately held. And we're uh, approximately two hundred million in revenue, and I'm looking to drive us to three, four, five hundred million over the next couple of years. Yeah, very good, Charles. So Dave, kind of tell us about how you go about delivering those services because you know I've, I've been working with many technology firms. We found that they all do a little bit different. If somebody were to engage you in the process, kind of tell us about how you go about you know taking the time to understand what people are looking for and how you go about. Uh, solving the the, uh, the market challenges that your clients are facing. Sure. Uh, so we've got two clients. One is the end client, and one is the consultant that we're looking for to bring in if they're not currently a subject matter expert uh, with us as a salaried employee. And what we want to do is sit down with the client, really understand their needs. Can we add value? Uh, and there will be some situations we really can't. So understand what what keeps them up at night, uh, what are their long-term, short-term initiatives, and really make that assessment. And once we have that, then try to fit the appropriate resources. So do they need a few people on a project for six to nine months? Or do they need a team of 30 to 40 folks that might be for 18 months to two years? So it really depends on the particular situation, the client, and we want to take the time to assess that to make sure we're the appropriate fit for them. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting. Um, so how has 2014 been for you, and, and uh, you know, what are you looking forward to in 2015? Yeah, so 2014 has actually been a very good year for us. Uh, our space, we tend to move in 8 to 10-year cycles, and right now uh, there are many opportunities. I'd mentioned life science, so that's quality regulatory validation. It's medical device and biotech. And with a lot of the new drug development these days, there are many opportunities in this space. So we're hiring quite a bit, a lot of young professionals out of school to go with our experienced industry professionals, of which today it's about 12 years, which is significantly greater than uh, most of the firms in our space. Very good. Charles? Well, uh, Dave, tell us a little bit more about that particular uh that particular scenario because, you know, a lot of people are looking for that experience hire. They don't want to necessarily, quote-unquote, train their staff. Uh, kind of tell us what the fallacy is in that thinking or where the, uh, where the risk is in that thinking. Yeah, so as far as uh, bringing in some of the younger professionals, uh, there's, there's a lot of hand-holding, uh, mentoring. I think one of the biggest things today, if you look at EQ over IQ, so the emotional quote and quotient, emotional intelligence, how do people really connect in an organization working within teams? And so a lot of that training and mentoring development with some of these young folks, uh, it really helps the environment here. Not everyone's going to make it. It's not an easy space. A lot of people coming out of school don't necessarily know the IT consulting, staffing space. Uh, but for us, it's a, an avenue for growth. And then it, with regard to the experienced people, we need them as well. So the consultants out with our clients, our clients are looking for people with certain skill sets. They don't want to have to train them up. Day one, they can jump on. And uh, so there's a value to our clients in that respect. Uh, on the, the junior side, the younger professionals, for us, it's more account executives, recruiters that we're training internally. Yeah, very good. We've got to wrap it up. Final thought. By the way, what, what is your website uh, you know, for, for our audience out there to learn more about you? Sure, thank you. It's www.eliasen, E-L-I-A-S-S-E-N dot com. And the phone number is 781-246-1600 at the corporate. And uh, anyone can reach me as well. I'm on the website, uh, LinkedIn, uh, email, and I'm usually very responsive. Yep, and Charles can be reached at cornerstonebusinessacademy.com. Thanks to both of you gentlemen. Hey, thank you this morning. I appreciate it. Yep, glad to have you. you. All right, so when we come back tomorrow, we're going to have much more for you. I do hope you have a great rest of your day. Spend it sensibly right here on this station.